Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing another storing photo cards video. Um, so this is the tray that I currently have set up with photo cards that I need to put away. Um, it's about 60 or so photo cards, so definitely less than my last photo card storing video. But we have some Red Velvet, some Itzy, some G Idol, some Got the Beat, some Jisoo, and then these are Sulgi photo cards. They're kind of just like merch cards. Um, I'm gonna actually put those in not one of my binders, but in my Red Velvet Seasons Greetings collect book. That's where I put all like the merch cards that I have, or most of the merch cards I have for Sulgi. Um, but yeah, we have quite a few cards to put away, so let's get started. All right, so first up we have my Red Velvet Espa and Got the Beat binder, kind of like my uh, SM binder, I guess, if you will. So we have Red Velvet to put away. I did set up for day two and day one and RBB because I'm almost finished those collections. Uh, I don't have quite all the cards, but I did want to at least set up for them. So we might be moving cards to there today. I do know at least for Got the Beat, I want to move one Sulgi card. I want to move this Sulgi card because this is the uh, SM Mini. So let me just grab this before I go all the way to the back here because I'll do Got the Beat first. Okay, so Got the Beat. This is a, uh, the, the Smini page that I have. So since I have all of these cards now, I'm actually just gonna store all of them back here. So now we have a full Smini completed page. Very cool. And then I did get, if you saw my last photo card uh, haul, I got a couple more, got the beat. So it looks like we got two red versions, two black versions. Um, and I already have things set up here, so I want to do these in age order. So let me put Wendy right here in the middle. And then which Karina card do I put next to her? What color back is that? It's black. So then let me put Karina's black back right next to Wendy here. And then this Karina can go down here. And then this winter can go right here. Awesome. So getting relatively close with Got the Beat. Uh, Smini is all complete, obviously, as you can see right here. Still working on the other two versions of the other two cards. I have both Karinas now. I still need the other Winter, the other Wendy. I have both Sulgis, but I don't want to move them back here yet because it's not a complete set. So once I get the other Winter and the other Wendy, then I'm probably going to dive into getting the other Boa, the other Taeyun, and both Hyoyuns, and hopefully complete it. The reason I had those last three put off uh, until I get the other ones, like basically like Red Velvet and Espa, was because from when I last checked, they were relatively cheap. I don't know if that's still the case, but... When I last checked, which was a couple months ago, they were relatively cheap. So hopefully that is still the case. And yeah, we can hopefully get pretty close to completing Got the Beat relatively soon. So with that done, let's go ahead and move back now to Red Velvet. And so we have day two set up here. Now, what I think I want to do is... Basically just move all the day two, day one, and RBB stuff I have up front to the back. So we're gonna be flipping a lot of pages here. And actually, let me just zoom in a little bit here. All right, so I zoomed in just a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see everything a little bit better. Let me just make sure, yeah, okay. Um, so let's start with day two. I know I have every one of Sulgi's day two photo cards. So let's go ahead and grab those. I don't know which one they are though. Uh, so this is day two, day two, and day two. All right, perfect. So I'll grab these. And then anyone else up front here that I have day two of? I'm not sure I have Irene day two up front here. 
And I do not. What about Wendy, perhaps? Nope, no Wendy day two up here. Any Joy day two? No. Yeri day two? Yes, I have two Yeri day two cards. These are both day two cards. Perfect. All right, so now what I'm gonna do with the other cards that I got in my latest haul, I'm gonna come back here and just start filling in day two stuff. So I just basically set it up. They didn't really have any like particular themes uh, with this release. So I'll, they did two photo cards for the main version and then one photo card for the guidebook version. So that's basically just how I set it up in no particular order. I have one and two right here. And then the guidebook version is in this last column over here. So let me grab the other day two cards that I got in my latest haul. These were the other day two cards that I got in my latest haul. So we got a couple Wendy's and then a Joy and a Yeri. So let me go ahead. Wow, I actually don't have any Irene. I'm kind of surprised by that. I thought I had at least one. Anyway, let me just do Solgi's photo cards first. Which one is the guidebook version? Let's see. All right, so these are the regular versions. I'll put this one here. And then I'll put this one here. I think I already mentioned this too, but I'm, I don't plan on getting Kinos for day two or day one or basically any other release that Red Velvet has done for, or that have Kinos. Um, so it's just, they're too expensive and I just don't really see the worth in that, if I'm being quite honest. I mean, the photo cards are nice, but I don't wanna spend that kind of money, if I'm being perfectly honest. All right, so we have the Wendy Guidebook, which is this one right here. I am so excited for Red Velvet to come back, y'all. You have no idea. The teasers that they've been releasing look so good. It looks like it's gonna be a Velvet comeback, so I'm definitely excited for that. Um, I am, I am super, super pumped. What's up next? So we do have one Joy, and it's just a standard card. So let me do this. All right, so that Joy can go there. And then we actually have all three Yeri cards. So let me do this. I almost just had a mini heart attack because I thought I wasn't recording, but thank goodness I am recording. All right, so we got all three Yeris here for day two. Day two is pretty easy uh, as far as collecting goes if you're not collecting the Kinos because there's only 15 photo cards. So as you can see now, we are just basically missing all Irene, one Wendy, and then two Joys. And I think I've actually bought one of the Irene's, perhaps. Uh, I think I just bought the other Wendy too. And then maybe one of these joys I have purchased. So those may be on the way. But yeah, that is day two done. All right, so now that day two is done, let's go ahead and look at day one. So what I'm gonna have to do is flip back to the front again real quick. Try not to slam the pages so it doesn't create that much noise. So Sylvie, so day one. That's all three of these cards. Perfect. Then day one cards for Irene. We have all of the day one cards for Irene, as a matter of fact. So that's not this one, this one. All right, yes, that one's RBB. So all the day one cards for Irene. Pretty sure this Wendy is a day one. Oop. Yes, that Wendy is a day one. Then, don't think Joy. Oh no, we do have a day one for Joy right here. Very cool. 
And then I need day one for Yeri up here. No, all right, so no day one for Yeri, at least up front here. So now let's go back here. All right, day one. Now let's go to my stack here. Wow, we actually have a lot of day one cards to put away. I think I'm actually only a couple cards away. We're definitely gonna find out. Wait, did I take out an Irene card that I wasn't supposed to? Because this Irene, oh, this Irene's a day two, okay. So I totally messed up and I do have a day two Irene card. This is the guidebook, focus. There we go. Um, so the day two guidebook card I have for Irene here. Very nice. All right, so now day two is looking pretty good. Move it up just a little bit. The photo book, or not photo book, binder. Okay. All right, so now the day one cards we have to put away uh, are these. So we got a couple Wendy's, one Joy, and a couple Yeri's. These are the ones I got for my most recent haul. Um, but for starters, we have all of the Irene photo cards. So I knock my tripod. So we'll put those to the side and then we'll take these out. But yeah, I'm actually, I'm really excited for Red Velvet to come back. Um, Espa is coming back three days before them, which is also awesome. And their teaser pictures are honestly really, really cool. I like the giant concept a lot. Um, the first one they had with uh, Ning Ning, I guess it would be like a, a GIF or GIF, however you want to say it. Because um, it was like moving. It was a moving photograph. But it was the one where she was like on a tarmat or a runway or whatever. And she was holding the plane that was like midair. That one was like really cool. I really liked that one. Um, that was probably my favorite teaser photo of all of them, if I'm being quite honest. Because um, the creativity in that and then the fact that it was like kind of moving too. Like the picture was moving. It was, it was dope. I really liked that. So we have Irene up there, and then we also have all of Silky. When those two groups officially come out, so Espa, I think it's November 10th, and then Red Velvet, I think it's November 13th. Um, when they come out with their albums and such, or when it gets released, you will definitely see unboxings on this channel. I got all of the versions for both comebacks. I'm hoping and praying that Espa do not, or SM, I guess, do not release Sminis for Espa, because they released Sminis for Red Velvet. And they already released, I think it's like four different versions for Espa's album release. And I'm hoping it's not a fifth, because they haven't released Sminis yet, or at least announced them. And they usually do it kind of late anyway, but I'm just, I, I could go without spending more money, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like, you know, collecting them and collecting the photo cards, but man, SM is just out here trying to get all of my money, all of our money as a whole. So we have another full set down here of Wendy, so we're actually going to have a full page for day one complete. I did not realize day one was this complete. That's awesome. So this one D can go right here. And this one can go right there. Perfect. Oh, that looks really good. That looks so good. Man, this color blue. I I love the color blue. This one is just so, so good. I love that color right there. So, so good. So for Joy, we don't have her guidebook version, but we do have her two regular versions. Um, so I'll go ahead and put this one right here. And then I'm gonna put this one right here. And then for Yeri, we have one regular version and then one guidebook version. So let's do the regular version right here. 
and then the guidebook version right there. Perfect. All right, so day one is only two cards short. So we're two cards away from completing day one, which is which is awesome. I really, I'm so glad I'm making progress on this one. Because um, like I said, once we get past these two, I think it's maybe only one other comeback that has 15 photo cards, but all the other ones are 10 photo cards or less. I think the other one, I think maybe Perfect Velvet has 15. I could be remembering that wrong though, because they might've done a Kino for that. I don't remember. I also don't know if Perfect Velvet, I think it's Perfect Velvet. That was Peekaboo, right? I think that's the one I'm talking about. The second full album is what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so that's day one and day two. All right, so the other two photo cards that I have are from Bad Boy. So we have this Wendy and then this Irene. Um, I really like the backs for these. Ooh, let me put them in the actual frame. Uh, but I have this Wendy and this Irene. I'm not going to put them back here quite yet because I don't have enough bad boy cards to justify putting it back here. Uh, but what I do want to do is probably move RBB cards that I have up front to back here because I think I have a decent amount of RBB cards. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna do that first, move RBB back here, and then I'm gonna rearrange everything up front and put these up front depending upon how many pages and cards I have up front. So let me go ahead and do that. I hope how I'm explaining things is making sense. So these are Solgi's RBB cards. So then I think we have one Irene for RBB. Yes, one Irene for RBB. And then we have no Wendy, but I think we do have a Joy, I think. Nope, we actually don't have a Joy. We have both of regular Bad Boy for Joy. And for Yeri, we have both of Yeri's cards. All right, perfect. So actually not as many as I thought I had in terms of RBB stock, but we will certainly get there. All right, so the way I did it is they just had 10 cards for RBB. So I just did a full page of one, just the five pattern, and then another page with the five pattern of the other ones. So I have Yeri on top here, so let's put Yeri away. Um, for now, I'm not going to be too picky with how they're organized in the binder yet. We'll have to get all the cards and then figure out how or if I want to organize them in terms of just like aesthetically uh, all the concepts matching and stuff like that. Um, say, for example, I think... The Irene I'm about to put away and the Solgi that is to follow should probably be on the same page because they're both kind of like wearing head garb. Um, so like Irene's got a jacket here with a hoodie up and then Solgi is, um, I don't know exactly what this is if I'm being quite honest, but it's some sort of head garb. Um, but they're both in a photo with headwear, so that would be nice together, I think. And then I do have the other Sogi. So have this Sogi and her sideways photo cards. I wish there wasn't so many sideways photo cards for Sogi. Um, speaking of sideways, this card is kind of uh, diagonal in there. I don't know how that happened. I just put it away. All right, so RBB, we are just missing two uh, here and then three here. So just looking for five more cards for RBB. So that's not bad. We are making a decent amount of progress on these older albums and releases. And that's kind of what I wanted to do as we got closer, especially now that their new album is coming out. And I'm probably going to probably put this on pause and then obviously focus on collecting the new album uh, as fast as possible if the prices are relatively decent. We're going to have a lot of copies of that album coming in. Uh, I think it was 19 total versions if you count 
all of the member versions and that's what I got. So yeah. And then the same thing for Espa. I don't think they did 19 versions, but it was pretty close. I think it was like 16 or 17 or something like that too. Like, and if they do Smini and they do member versions, it's going to be like over 20. So like SM, like what are we doing? <laughs> like stop making me spend money. I know they're not making me, but it's, it's completely my choice, but, uh, it does suck that it kind of just feels like they're, they're kind of getting money hungry a little bit. Anyway, um, so I took out some Sulgis, so we definitely want to reorganize Sulgis sections here. I have a full empty page right there. So how many do I have? I got eight cards here. I got five cards there, so that's 13. And then I got six right here. So that's 19. How can we divvy that up? I guess we do three pages and we do six, six, and seven. Yeah, three pages, six, six, and seven. So I'll actually just take this one out while I'm at it. Now this only needs six on here. So I'll take out the perfect velvet cards. And then we'll have to reorganize this for six. So do that just to put that right there for now. Then actually that, that's not gonna stay there, but that goes right there. This can come down here. Um, I'll just move this card. Since they're both rookie, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, this is rookie. And then let me grab one of the fillers that I recently took out and just put it right here. This one's also kind of crooked. It's kind of annoying. Um, also, I don't know if you can tell, but this binder is getting very full. Um, it's actually, it's a three inch binder. I'm pretty sure it's a three inch. And I don't know what else I might, if, if it gets to a point where it's too full, especially after this next Red Velvet and Espa come back, I might have to move Espa to a different binder. Maybe just get like a two inch binder and just have that binder be Espa by themselves. Or maybe I move Got the Beat in there too and just have this one stay Red Velvet, I don't know. Um, oh, I need another filler there for the bottom right. But um, I think that will probably be the move if that ends up having to happen. So let me move out these. So let's see, two, this is two. I have two perfect velvets that I need to put up top. So yeah, this one needs to go here. We'll put this one right here. Unfortunately, Summer Magic is gonna be split up onto, um, what's it? two different pages right now, but that's completely fine in my book. I want to move these over one. Um, let me know if you guys care about me filming this because I'll probably include this in the video in terms of just me like reorganizing which by the way, I just realized I messed up because I need to put perfect vel velvet up top there. So these need to come down here. But um, this extra organizing and stuff, I'm not really like obviously not putting photo cards, new photo cards away. I'm just moving existing ones around. But if y'all are cool with this, I'll definitely leave it in future videos and stuff like that. Um, twice now you guys have seen storing videos where I've already had sections set up and I know I had mentioned that I would probably start doing videos where I just like film myself setting up for comebacks, like putting in the fillers, writing the notes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I just haven't really figured out a way, a good way to film that quite yet. So unfortunately, that's just going to be on hold for the time being. And what do I want to do here? So I need to move this down here. I guess I'll move this one to the middle right here. 
And then this one needs to come over one. And then we need to put this Summer Magic clear card up top here. Cool. All right, so six, six, and seven here for Sylvie. Very nice. Now I need to figure out, I have the Wendy and the Irene to put away for bad boy. So I have four cards here. I have six cards here, that's 10. And then six more right here, that's 16. And then three more right here, so that's 19 plus two is 21. All right, so we can do three pages of seven to get 21, because that's what we need. So I'll take this page out and I'll remove these cards because they're going to have to go on the prior page. So Irene, we need page of seven. So unfortunately, Rookie is gonna have to get split up here. Actually, I don't think that middle card is a rookie card. I think that's something else. Yeah, it's the Velvet. Um, I need to get Irene's other rookie card. I have this bad boy card. So this bad boy card can go in the middle here. Very nice. And then this Irene can move up right there and then I need to put a filler right here right yeah and then these two Irene's can come to the previous page um, I'll do this and then I'll put the ID card in the middle so this actually works out nice since we have seven Irene cards and we need to divvy it up by seven this first uh, page right here of miscellaneous is just all Irene, which is very cool. Then Wendy, we need to move up top here. This page is also going to be seven cards. And then I have this Wendy that I got in my most recent haul. We're going to put that up here as well because that's also bad boy. So bad boy for Wendy is done which is nice. Then we have these three Wendy's that we need to move up here. Then two of these Wendy's, oh perfect. We're gonna have a full page of Irene and then a full page of Wendy back to back in terms of miscellaneous. These are Got the Beat cards? Yes, these are Got the Beat cards. So I actually don't need to get Wendy's Got the Beat cards. I forgot I already had these up here. So I'm basically just waiting on, I think it's the last winter, right? And then I'm done, unless they did two per version. They might have done two per version, Stamp and Beat version. I think they did. So I might actually need to get a couple more cards there, unfortunately. Anyway, let's move on to this page. This is already set up for seven, which is nice. So we can just move these about, do joy. Summer magic will be together again. All right, and then the last three are these Yeri cards that I took off the last page that I had just set aside. Very, very nice. All right, so we got this whole front section, which we kind of took from today, is all set up again, and either six or seven uh, card layouts here. And yes, so stamp and beat versions had two each, so I still need two more Wendy's, unfortunately. It's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Um, so just flipping through here just to show you guys all of that. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for this binder. I don't have any Espo to put away and I don't have any other Got The Beat to put away. So let's just go ahead and quickly jump into my collect book. All right, so I have this Red Velvet Seasons Greetings collect book set up here. And I did zoom way in just to give you guys a good look. Um, I do have these cards to put away. These first three were in my most recent haul and these are part of the Red Velvet 9th anniversary merch that I got. And I obviously got a Soldi's version for the three different pieces of merch that I got. And then this one was actually in my Red Velvet binder. I just took it out today and I put it in the new sleeve so that it can fit in the collect book. But this is from the 8th anniversary merch from last year, 2022. And I think it was like an acrylic uh, birthday cake stand or something of that nature. 8th anniversary stand. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this in here as well. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I think, how do I want to do this? Season's Greetings, I'll actually just keep right where it is. And I'll just go ahead and start filling these in. So this is definitely a tight fit, the sleeves that I got. Um, but it still fits relatively well. I'm gonna put this card on the back here because the other two cards kind of go together and I want them maybe on the same page. Come on now, don't, there we go. All right, I know that was not on camera, but I was trying to protect the integrity of the card. <laughs> um, but that's so these in there now. Now let's go with this card. Um, these sleeves are different. I usually just do dragon shield sleeves, but these I think are BCW. Um, they're 50, seven by 80 something millimeter. I can't remember exactly. Um, but the dragon shield sleeves don't fit in these little sleeves in the collect book. So that's why I had to get smaller sleeves that kind of fit to the card. Cause I still wanted the cards to, to be sleeved, but, um, yeah, the dragon shield sleeves don't, don't fit in here. So one more card to put in there we go all right and okay all right so i think that's good to go but yeah so we have obviously this cover which is from season's greetings and then this one from season's greetings and then this season's greetings this i said was from the eighth anniversary merch and then this is ninth anniversary merch, ninth anniversary merch, and ninth anniversary merch. I think we have maybe about, I don't know, 10 more spots in here, 10 or 12 more spots. So if I get any more like Sulgi merch or anything like that, I'll probably move it to this collect book. But yeah, that is it for Red Velvet as a whole in this video. Let's go ahead and move on to, I don't know. It'll be a surprise. All right, so I decided we're gonna do uh, G Idol and the couple Jisoo cards that I have real quick. So that's why I have this binder out. Let me move it over, very nice. Um, I guess I'll put away Jisoo first since I only have two cards of hers to put away. We are almost going to be, spoiler alert, finishing I Feel today, which is very exciting. Um, so when I went to set up for these couple Jisoo cards that I had to put away, I realized that it was the, the number of cards I had in the nine pockets, uh, nine pocket pages that I had number wise was not going to work out. I was always going to have like one more than I actually needed. Um, so what I ended up having to do, which I don't like was separate the Lisa cards that I have and just have them on their own page like this. I don't love it because I think it's too little of cards for one page, especially a nine pocket page. But in the future, I plan on getting like a miscellaneous either binder or a collect book or something like that. And I'm just telling myself that in the future when I do that, I'll, I'll just move those to there. Um, because I feel like they do, since they're just a photo book, they're not part of like any album. They're just Lisa's photo book cards. Um, 
uh, they're kind of out of place in here anyway, I feel like. And I wanted to make sure to keep Jisoo and her solo stuff together. Um, and I have two cards to put away. So I have the photo book version or special edition card to put away. And then this K-Town for You pre-order benefit for the photo book special edition. So just going to slide those right in here. Perfect. But yeah. So me is now basically all complete. Uh, I don't. I didn't collect the full like. I didn't collect all the photo cards. These are literally just all photo cards that I pulled from albums that I bought. So I think I bought two. Well, I bought two of each standard version. Then I bought the kit. Then I bought two of the YG. Uh, what's it? What was the special YG version? I don't know. It was the album that had like a mini vinyl CD in it. I forget exactly what it was called, but I got two of those and then I got obviously the vinyl and then the photo book one for me. I'm hoping YG doesn't release anything more because I want to stop collecting and spending money <laughs> on this one comeback. So annoying. Um, no, but I really do like the photo cards, so I'm happy that we have them. Next up is going to be G Idol. So let's go ahead and flip over. So I have I Feel photo cards. Um, what's this? The Polka. Yeah, so nothing up there. So G Idol, let me move it over a little bit. All right, so I know the photo cards I have for I Feel. We are almost done. It's mostly Polaroids and ID cards and one photo book card. So for this page right here, I do have one photo book card and that's this Oogie. So this photo book card is gonna go right there. Very, very pretty. Now we have Polaroids to get through, and I do have this mini, mini Polaroid. So this page is all complete. Then Shua Butterfly Polaroid. Which one is the butterfly? It's gotta be this one right here. Cause she's wearing the butterfly wings. And then I also do have the cat Polaroid for Shua. So now all of the Polaroids for I Feel are complete. So that's very cool. And now we have the butterfly ID for Mini. I'm pretty sure I have this. Yes, I do have this. So the butterfly ID, and I also have the cat ID for Mini. Perfect. And then Soyun, we have the queen ID. All right, so we got full page of IDs here. And then Shua, we also have the cat ID. All right, and that's all I have for I Feel. And then this last page for I Feel is just the QR cards and the K-Town for You pre-order benefits. So as it stands, I Feel is completely done except for this one photo card, this Shua photo book number three. And I've seen it in a couple places, but like for outrageous prices, and I keep checking every day to see if it exists somewhere for like a relatively okay price. And I keep striking out, but we will keep trying and hopefully possess it one day. But um, it's actually kind of funny because I Love was almost complete, at least for me, for the longest time. I was just missing one Shua photo card and it was like, I thought it was extinct. I just couldn't find it anywhere. And it took forever to find that one and then we finally completed it. So it's only fitting that I feel also ends with me trying to find one Shua photo card. <laughs> but yeah, so what I have next to put away for G-Idle is Heat. 
and I'm actually set up for it in terms of what I'm going to collect. Um, I decided for Heat that I'm just going to collect basically all the standard album versions and not collect any like uh, US specific retailer cards. So like I think they have an Amazon card, I think they have a Target card, and I think they maybe even have like a Walmart card or something like that. I'm not going to collect any of those. I'm just going to collect the regular Blaze version card, regular Flare version card, and the regular Digipack version card. And then I also have the Polaroids as well, which I already got the mini that I was missing. If you watch my GIL unboxing for Heat, uh, first of all, go watch it. It's amazing. Second of all, um, you'll know that I pulled all of the D2C Polaroids except for minis. And I just got that in like end of last week or something like that. So we'll be putting that away today too with the other D2Cs. Let's go ahead and start to put away these heat photo cards. So we have a couple mini, couple Soyun, couple Ugi, one Shua. We have the group one and then the D2Cs. And I actually need to look up what each version is. I think this mini right here is the flare version. So I think flare version has the pink tops with the diamond in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Put that right there. Unfortunately, I don't have any Mion for this comeback, which is just unfortunate. I actually pretty much always pull a lot of Mion anytime I buy G Idol albums. I pull quite a bit of Mion. Uh, but for whatever reason this time around, we did not, unfortunately. I do have most of the Digipack cards though, so that's kind of cool. Um, so this first page here, we only have four out of nine on this first page, but a good start. Then this is the Blaze version for Ugi. And then this is the Digipack for Ugi. G Idol, I think it was either yesterday or like early this morning, just depending on the time difference, uh, finished up their last world tour show. I think it was in Singapore. I think the number that I saw in terms of like total tickets sold was like pretty substantial. I think it was in like six figures or something like that. Um, which was apparently like way more than their last tour that they did last year in 2022. So, I mean, good on them. I'm very happy for them. Hopefully they do. I'm, I'm actually not going to ask for another world tour relatively soon. Because, I mean, I feel like two world tours in two years is like kind of a lot. Especially with how many dates they did. So they definitely need rest. And especially if they're planning on doing a comeback at the end of this year. Like... Girls need to rest, for real. I mean, it would be nice to see them in concert again. They're probably my, one of my favorite concerts that I've been to. Um, them and Itzy. Uh, Itzy concerts are really fun, and Giotto concerts are also really fun. So, uh, On this page, we just have the two Oogies, the one Shua, and then the group card. And then this page, I didn't put any fillers in except for the outside corners because we have the D2Cs that are gonna go on this page. This is the mini that I got. I bought that mini off of US Mercari. I saw it for a relatively decent price, so I figure why not just jump at the opportunity. Speaking of concerts, though, I'm actually going to an Everglow concert next week. They're performing in D.C., so I'm going to go to that. Very excited for that. Don't really know what to expect. Um, I've never been to an Everglow show before, and I actually think this is the first time they're touring, like, outside of Asia. Uh, at least on their own. I know that, I know that they've done, like, um, festivals and stuff like that, like, K-pop festivals, I think in, like, Saudi Arabia and the Middle East and stuff like that. Um, also throughout Asia, I'm pretty sure as well. Um, but I'm really excited for that. I think they're gonna do a couple covers. Um, like, I've been watching their Instagram and they've been posting some, like, dance spoilers. I think they're gonna cover, like, Queen Card. 
by G Idol and some other songs. So I'm looking forward to that. I wish they had a light stick, but um, their company, I forget what their company's name is. Yeah, I can't remember, but their company, just for whatever reason, I guess, even though they're doing a world tour, they just don't feel the need to create a light stick for them. So I will be going light stick lists. Um, I've only been to one other concert where I didn't have a light stick and that was a Mamamoo concert. Uh, I went to a Mamamoo concert back in May of this year and didn't have a light stick. And that was just because it wasn't that they aren't on sale, it was just they didn't really produce that many of them. And so they were really hard to get and they didn't have any when we got to the concert. So anyway, um, that is all it for G Idol and basically everything else in this binder. So heat is looking pretty good. I have three to get on this page and then six to get, no, five to get on this page. So we're looking for eight more cards. Um, so yeah, uh, last thing I need to put away is Itzy stuff, so let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so we have the Itzy binder here, so we have a decent amount of Itzy to put away. We have almost all of Kill My Doubt left to put away, and then I actually don't think we have any other arrows. I think it's just Kill My Doubt. Um, so let's go ahead and move to Kill My Doubt. I am already set up because I set up quite a while ago. All right, so anything on, no. So nothing on these first two pages, so that's good. Oh, let me actually just show you the cards that I got real quick, if you didn't see my haul video, but I have um, mainly pobs. So I think these are MMT pobs, and these are Make Star pobs right here. And then we just have some regular album photo cards. This is a Soundwave Pob. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out where to put that. And then we got some more regular album version cards. So yeah, um, first things first, since we're on this page, and I do have one of these cards. I have the Leah picture in picture card. So we can go ahead and put that right here. Still missing Yeji's, unfortunately, but we will get it one day. Then Leah Rujin Unit, I believe I also have. Let me just confirm that. Yes, Leah Rujin Unit right here. So put that right there. So this page is all complete. Very cool. Then Yeji Special Edition Heart, do, I do have that, I do have that. I got that off of US Makari. This is Special Edition. This is another one that I haven't really had too much luck finding. There's another motorcycle, man. Very, very loud. All right, so Rujin Special Edition Heart, I also have right here let me just show it to you guys this video is getting to be pretty long and i think that's because i have been talking a lot but i'm not really that mad about it because someone commented on my last video that they don't mind the long videos so i'm just gonna go by that <laughs> um still missing the chae young special edition yuna polaroid i actually have so let me do this doesn't focus focus there we go so obviously i'll try to edit it down um as much as i can but this will definitely be a longer one because i decided to babble um so we got a leah and yuna unit card and i think that was the last unit card that i needed so awesome there all right, now comes the, actually, let me do this one first. Where is it, where is it? Ah, yes, here we go. All right, so the clear cards, let me do these first. So I have the Yeji clear card. Yeji, and then the Chaedyoung clear card as well. All right, so clear cards are all complete, so that's cool. 
K-Town for you, Pops, right there. All right, now comes the fun part because we get to put away the pre-order benefit cards that we got. So I've said this more than once, but I got these pre-order benefit cards because I am a huge baseball fan. Baseball is my favorite sport. Um, watch a lot of MLB and stuff like that. And because yet, uh, I almost just said Yeji. That's because I was looking at her photo card. Because Itzy did, these are mixed though, right? Yeah, because Itzy did a baseball concept, I guess. It's not really a concept. They were just wearing baseball jerseys because it was like, a summer or spring concept for none of my business but because they did that i was like i gotta get these photo cards because they're in the baseball jerseys and then you'll see the mmt cards they're holding baseballs so i was like two of my favorite things like mixed together it's like a match made in heaven so gotta get those and we got them so, boom. And then this is also a Make Star set. This was one of the early ones. I just got these because I really liked the hollow on them. And they just all look, I mean, just so good in those. I mean, let's be real. Um, so now we have the MMT cards. These are the ones where they're holding the baseball. So we have Yeji right here. And then Leah, I hope Leah's doing okay. I know she's on hiatus right now for, um, I think it's just like she was tired and, you know, mental health issues and just stress and all that stuff. I know it can add up being an idol and you're just basically like on the go all the time, all the time, all the time, you know. Um, I just hope that she is getting the rest that she deserves, getting the care that she deserves. Uh, and taking all the time that she needs. But we have a Chae Young here. That just decided to go sideways as I pushed it in. That was not cool. Okay, and then Yuna. Bam. All right, so I really, one one thing that I really wanted to, or one thing that I really liked about this Make Star set too, was the fact that they had backs like this, where you see the back of their jerseys. And I wonder if the numbers mean anything, like why Yeji is wearing 26, why Lee is wearing 21, Rujin 17, uh, Cheo Young 5, and Yuna 9. I wonder if like there's any meaning to the numbers that they're wearing. I haven't seen anyone say anything that there is, but I'm just curious about it. Um, I do have a Soundwave Pob to put away. Uh, I don't really know where to put it because it was just kind of a miscellaneous card. Um, I guess what I can do is just put it on the K-Town For You page for right now. When I get my miscellaneous binder slash collect book, I'll probably move it to there. But I just got this. It was part of a set that I bought off of Makari Japan. And there was a regular album card that I needed in the set. And then this Soundwave Pob. So I got the set because I needed the one album card. And then I just got this just as an extra. So I don't have anywhere for it right now. But for now, it will be right here with the K-Town For You pre-order benefits. But yeah, as far as Kill My Doubt goes, we are very, very close. So I'm not going to collect any more pobs, um, but we're just missing special edition for Chaeryong, a special edition Pola for Yeji, and then the Yeji picture in picture card. And that is it. So we are only missing three cards for Kill My Doubt. So that is very good. Very happy with that. Um, where is the end of this? I don't know if you can see, but like, that's a lot of pages. Um, it's less than Cheshire, I think, but it's, it's still a lot. I didn't need to collect all the pobs, but I really wanted to. The pobs that I did anyway. Um, but yeah, we're doing pretty good with Itzy. Um, I don't think, they just had a Japanese comeback, but 
I don't think they're gonna have a Korean comeback anytime soon. I don't know if they would come back as four. It might depend on like how well Leah is doing um, with her health and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know if they would come back as four, do a comeback without Leah. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in probably another binder in the frame, do the outro, and then we'll get out of here. All right, so I have this Giotto page right here and then this Itzy page right here. So this is just what we're gonna end on. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching the Storing Photo Cards video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's gonna be, I haven't edited it yet, but I think it's gonna be a relatively long one. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that part at least. As far as upcoming content, like I said, Espa is having a comeback on the 10th, Red Velvet on the 13th. You'll definitely see unboxings for that on this channel. And then I also did pre-order Sujin's uh, upcoming release. I think that's releasing on November the 6th. Not totally positive about that date. Don't quote me on it, but I think it's November the 6th. It might be the 8th. I don't know. I can't, I can't exactly remember. Um, but I did pre-order the two main versions for that and the two jewel case versions for that. So you will probably be seeing the Sujin unboxing uh, for her solo release on this channel as well. I also did just wanna mention that, I did mention in the past that I did wanna start a La Seraphim collection of some sort, and I was toying with the idea of maybe just collecting Japanese lines, so Sakura and Kazuha, um, but I'm gonna put that on hold. The idea is still there, but I think I'm just gonna put that on hold for right now, just because with all these comebacks coming back in November, like, my, my pocketbook is just like, it's begging me to stop. Like. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to put that on hold at least for right now. Maybe when the comebacks and you know things of that nature die down again and I'm not like spending so much on albums, maybe I can get into that, get a binder for it, get sleeves for it. Cause it would be a brand new collection. I mean, I have some Le Seraphim cards, but it would be basically a brand new collection. So I'd basically be starting from zero. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm hopefully going to start that in the future, just not anytime soon, unfortunately, just with all the comebacks happening. But yeah, uh, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, let me know, since there's a lot of comebacks happening in November, let me know what comeback you're most looking forward to. It can be Espa, Red Velvet, it can be Sujin, it can be another group. But yeah, guys, that's everything. That's all I got for today. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.